All right. This is going to be a demonstration of the Reaper. The Reaper is a customer's name, uh, brand. He asked me to build him a single channel metal lamp. I decided I wanted to give him more, so I, I designed it way more complex than what he asked me. Um, it is a Neuron Series 100. I make a 20 water, a 50 water, a 100 water, and a 200 water. Uh, this panel here is laser engraved, but behind it, 16 gauge steel. I hand drilled every single one of these holes. Um, and then they had to be, so I used started with an eighth inch drill, drill bit, and then I had to step them down six times. So that's over 1,084 drills to get this faceplate done. And it was a, it, it was a nightmare, man. But anyway, we're, this is the channel selector. We'll walk right fast. First, we have channel one. We have clean, and then we have overdrive. It's the same channel. We have channel one's gain here. We have bright, and we have normal on channel one. We have bass, treble, mid, presence, master. We have master, so master one and two, and master three with depth. This will select in between channel one and two to three. And then this is a bypass on channel three to uh, add gain. So for for the pedals here, I'm gonna be using a comp, an MXR comp, and I'm gonna be using a Providence Chrono Delay. And I'll do clean sounds. So, for all you people that don't like metal amps, you always say that Fender's awesome. I build these things based on a high watt. That's where, where it all starts. As you can tell, the, the clean is beautiful. I mean, and we roll up the gain a little bit here. So. sweep
the delay. <laughs> turn down the master a little bit and I'm gonna roll up what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll up this gain to about one you can hear it's already overdrive and it's still in the clean though I'm not even hitting the overdrive on this channel now if I plug into the low it's, a little, it's quieter but it's less gain so it's probably I kind of prefer it sometimes Depends on the guitar I'm using. I'm just using a Stratocaster, so. Give it some more gain. Well, let's put it at three. So the gain's at three now. Clean channel. Actually, it's not really clean anymore. It's actually overdriving. So if you actually turn it up, anyway, loud, real loud. So we're gonna max. What I'm gonna do is max the gain out on the clean, so that you can hear. Turn the bass up a little bit, man.
on the back of this amplifier, we have our we have a solid state and we have dual rectifier. Right now I'm on I'm on solid state. So we're gonna hit the overdrive now. We'll roll this back to mid. Hit the overdrive button. Now we have more gain. So I'll, <laughs> dude, I didn't even hear a tone change, man. So I was turning this volume and that's, that's the number two. So I'm sorry, dude. I didn't even show you. So halfway was clean. So again, um, we're on the clean section right now and we're at, sitting at one o'clock now. Now this is still clean. again at three o'clock and it's pretty bright I have the bright switch on though so it should be <laughs> Spots going from 1950s to 1960s cleanish to, to plexi overdrives to JCM overdrives. You know, when I say when I say JCM overdrives or plexi, I just want to explain how much relative gain that these, these stages do inside this amplifier. So it doesn't necessarily 
have to be the circuit. It just has that much characteristic of game. Now, with the overdrive on, we're well into JCM 800 mode, man. Uh, you know, I'm overdriving three tubes for this stage. So, again, it's, and I overdrive three tubes for the uh, clean stage, too. Just I in, use them different in there. So this is what it sounds like. <laughs> Do break up and it's gonna even be more badass, but I'm not doing that because it's late. I'm not gonna, I mean, I can show you what the switch in the back does here, real fast. So now I'm on dual rec. Let's crank up the game one more time. Uh, I'm on dual rec mode. It's gonna feel a little squishy. I don't think it'll sound much different, but it definitely feels different. Lower voltages. <laughs>
able to hear the difference right away. Listen. <laughs> Sick though. Now watch what it 
say let me face this camera towards me it's a long video I understand I create amplifiers because I enjoy playing music I don't create them uh, usually for the world I usually create them because I enjoy to hear the tones uh, unfortunately that I've been building the amps I don't have much time to actually play but I do want to say this, man. I'm sick and tired of people not opening their, their mind to, um, uh, to changes. Look, I love Fender uh, Twin Reverbs. I love Plexis and JCM 800s. I do. But they're a one-trick pony, man, and they're old and outdated, man. And what I'm doing is like 50 amps in one. You get the best cleans, the best crunches, the best overdrives, and the best distortion, the tightest. You can't beat it, it's unrivaled. So don't say, hey, you know, uh, the older stuff is better because I'm actually wiring my amplifiers better than the old stuff, by far. I'm doing mil-spec wiring in there. Um, you could throw my, my, my amps out of an airplane and just the tubes will break, but you replace the tubes, you can fix them. Dude, they're, they're life, they're, they're not life, they're, they're made to last infinity. They're not PCB shit. Um, the people saying that they don't like uh, the 100 watts is too much, shame on your ass. For one, you don't get no headroom with a 20 water. You don't get no headroom with a 50 water, dude. Three decibels less than 100 watts is a huge difference in sound pressure. A lot of people are like, oh, 50 watts is only uh, three decibels less than 100 watts. Well, that three decibels is a huge amount of sound pressure. Big amount. Once you hit 115, 116 decibels, one decibel bigger is huge. It's almost twice the perception of loudness. So 117 versus 120, the 120 will sound like it's three times louder in headroom. So they're, not even, I, they're not even close to being the same. So don't be bitching if you, if you negative motherfuckers out there want to bitch about wattage. I build my amps so you can play them at one watt all the way up to 100 watts. This thing's 120 watts. It will hit almost 127 decibels. A jet plane at three feet away is 140. This thing will break your soul. But it doesn't have to. It sounds really good low, and it sounds really good mid, and it sounds really good high. So, to you haters, man, fuck you. I don't care. Do something better, motherfuckers. 